If you know how to play the five stroke roll and you know how to play the nine stroke roll, learning the 13 stroke roll is a breeze. It's exactly the same thing except for counted differently because it has a different number of strokes. So what I like to have my students do is figure out the math of the 13 stroke roll. So using double strokes it's really simple. Six doubles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times two equals 12. 12 plus the release stroke or the accent is 13. So 12 plus 1 is 13. So we can start the roll on the downbeat. Or we can start with the accent. I have it notated in my book starting with the downstroke because you see this more often than you see the other type of 13 stroke roll. It doesn't really matter uh, which way you practice it, but I like to have my students practice it. 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1. 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and that's the 13 stroke roll. Now we're going to apply the 13 stroke roll to rudimental etude number 4 and essentially this adds the 9 stroke roll, the 5 stroke roll, the 13 and the paradiddle. So all of those rudiments put together is, is what makes up the rudimental etude just in kind of different combinations. So work on the 13 stroke roll first making sure that you know how to count it and play it with double strokes and with multiple bounces just the way you do the five and the nine add that to your daily list of practice then work up the rudimental etude in little chunks maybe two bars making sure you know how to go from rudiment to rudiment then I'm going to demonstrate it for you at 90 beats per minute so here is rudimental etude number four ready and go And there you have it, okay? You can also do that with multiple bounces. And I like to do this at a little bit faster tempo. The tempo we're working on our multiple bounce for this lesson is 100. So here's what it looks like at 100 beats per minute using multiple bounces. And there you have it, rudimental etude number four. So take each one of those rudiments, make sure you're working on each one of those separately every single day. Incorporate the 13 stroke roll into your daily warm up routine. And then after you finish all of those techniques that we've learned through this lesson, the new exercises, counting and playing 16th notes in quarter time and the 13 stroke roll, you're ready to move on to lesson number seven.